Thanks for showing me your butt. That's lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. So first you show me your butt and then you caress my face with your tail. Okay, that's fine. All right. <laughs> that's his love language. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, I am on like one of my last videos I got like a comment where someone was like what are you what are we even doing in this video like what craft is this like I don't like you should probably explain what you're doing and I'm like that's a good point <laughs> so hi um today we're going to be doing yet another diamond painting <laughs> it is yet another one from diamond art club and I promise I won't just only do diamond art club it's just that's just how things are playing out for the time being. But um, what I'm going to be doing is, it's not going to focus, but it's going to be Make a Wish and Take a Bite by Mandy Manzano. Um, you guys will get a good look at it later on. Um, also, I think it's like day 12 of me working on this canvas and I just realized I never filmed the, filmed the intro. I never filmed the intro. So I'm glad I finally realized it. So it's almost done. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess it's never too late. I did probably didn't even have to tell you guys that, but it's fine. <laughs> um, and since it's the beginning of the video, I want to tell you guys that I'm going to do my very first YouTube live stream this Friday, April 8th at 8 p.m. We'll have it right down there. <laughs> I'm really excited. Some of you um, right now maybe are even seeing the p notification pop up that I scheduled it. So I'm excited. Um, yeah, so it's going to be an experiment. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. And I mean, if it does, then oh well. <laughs> but I hope you guys can join me. Um, yeah, and if you can't or don't want to, that's fine. I'm just excited to give it a shot. Um, and yeah, so I am going to be working on this in today's video, and yeah, let's get this bad boy up. Oh wait, my brain, I didn't, didn't explain what this is. In case you're brand new and you have no idea what's going on, this is a diamond painting. Well, this is a box that's holding a diamond painting, and with diamond painting, similar to paint by numbers, only you put jewels, like little plastic jewels, on a sticky canvas with a stylus. Hopefully a little more self-explanatory as I go along with the video, but yeah, it's very addicting. Um, oh, and I will also be linking this kit, or yeah, linking where you can get this, purchase this kit, down below in the description. No, I am not an I am not an affiliate with Diamond Art Club. I just poked my eye out. Um, <laughs> maybe someday I would love to Diamond Art Club if you're watching. Please. <laughs> okay. Oh, also I'm wearing I'm wearing a my Fantasmic shirt. I love the show so much. It's coming back. It's coming back to Disneyland so soon. I'm so excited. Um, okay, sorry, enough. Whatever this is. <laughs> okay guys, I'm about to kit up my next painting. This one is Make a Wish and Take a Bite. And it has 48 colors and what looks to be, I think just one AB, just 141. But yeah, this will definitely need at least um, two of my containers that I use. I do have two extra of these containers. So maybe I'll have to go into three containers, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, time to kit this up. Guys, so before I get started on um, Make a Wish and Take a Bite, I've had 
a comment or two asking if I could kind of just like quickly show um, the tools that I use and like kind of my process. This will be really quick, I promise. <laughs> so um, I use this yellow diamond painting pen that I got from Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. But it's it, it, I remember the Amazon listing had a few different color options and I picked the yellow one. Um, pretty cheap, I think it was like $10 or something like that. And I honestly can't remember if it came with this um, multi-placer, but this is a nine multi-placer. I always use a nine multi-placer nowadays. Um, and I've become pretty good at like being able to pick up um, nine to like three to nine drills at a time using just this um, to tip so I don't have to switch out the tips. Personal preference. <laughs> so I use that. Um, and kind of what you're seeing already is like all the tools that I use because I don't really um, get too fancy. Um, I recently started using cover minders. This one is a purple bedazzled Mickey one. And I got this from the, I think it's called the Aurora Diamond Art Shop. Uh, I should probably remember that, but I'll link it down below also. I think this was like maybe $5 or something like that. But I love Mickey and I thought it was perfect. This tray, I got this tray from a Spell Queen kit. Um, it used to say Spell Queen here, but it rubbed off after using it for a bit. Um, I got my scissors. I think I already mentioned that. Sorry if I already did. <laughs> and then the wax that I use, I alternate, but I, I either use the standard Diamond Art Club wax or, let me pull it out. Ah, sorry. Or I use Patty Wax's super sticky wax. You can see I've used it a bit, but, or I use Blue Tack. Blue Tack. Blue tack isn't great. Same with this Patty Wax Super Sticky. These two aren't great for multi-placing. Um, so that's so, I don't know, I can't talk, but this is great for single placing. Same with the super, Patty Wax Super Sticky. So then usually I use the Diamond Art Club Wax. Just makes my life easier, but else um okay I don't use washi tape I tried washi tape it's not for me mainly because um, I take my diamond paintings to and from work and when you use washi tape in my experience um, when you roll up the kit and unroll the kit while it has washi tape washi tape on it <laughs> Um, it causes the washi tape to start to peel and come off where you placed it and it's just a pain in the butt to put it back on. So I'm like, you know what, I'm good. <laughs> and I don't even use the washi tape to like cover up the excess glue because I always paint over the border when I'm done and so any fuzzies that I get on it kind of just get covered up by the paint. So yeah. What, um, so what I'm going to show you now is I already cut this, but how someone asked, how do I mark where to cut? Um, I don't. <laughs> what I do is, sorry for the crinkling, but um, basically I like kind of, I try to, if I can, I try to do like even squares of plastic to like cut slits into. Um, so I broke this into thirds for this um, portion. And so I already cut it and I just stopped about like, I can feel like right here. So you peel it back and I try to do it as straight up as possible. I'm not perfect and I don't need it to be perfect, but peel it, peel it back. I can't talk. Magnet. I, at first, was putting the magnet underneath the plastic. And then I learned that what a better way is to put the magnet underneath the canvas. And for whatever reason, it stays like like it's secure and snug on there and it's nice because if you put it underneath the plastic I notice that's kind of wobbly it moves around a bit so I don't mark it off I don't mark off the plastic I can kind of like when I move back and forth in the light I can kind of see that um 
I can kind of see the line of plastic, but most of the time I can't. And so when I'm placing diamonds, I kind of just go until like the stickiness runs out and I'm like, oh, I can't place there anymore. So then I kind of, as I'm diamond painting, I like try to find the edge and I kind of try to usually do the edge of where the plastic, where the glue ends and where the plastic begins again for the next section. And I just try to usually like create a defined line and then I can just follow that and not have to worry about, um, I guess like trying to place drills down where the glue isn't exposed. Um, I guess I'll show you a little bit of me multi-placing and how I do that if you're interested. Um, if you're not, then um, I'm doing it anyway, so sorry. <laughs> so we got the white AB. I already spilled. I already spilled. Oops, okay. Um, pour the diamonds in the tray, shake them side to side, and then slightly tilt the tray back so that they get pushed down into rows like this. And then um, I'm looking at this section right here. I can kind of count real quick and see that that's seven. And so then I just grab seven, gently place down because you don't have to press that down that hard for the ABs. And I kind of do like a rolling motion. Sometimes I do a rolling motion when placing them. Sometimes I just place straight down, but I'm pretty sure I just usually, yeah, I just do a rolling motion. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, just doing a rolling motion. And yeah, with ABs, you don't, like I said, you don't have to press too hard, but when I don't place down perfectly, I can, with Diamond Art Club canvases, it's very easy to just um, readjust and slide the drills into the correct place. If there's no hope in doing so, I just grab some tweezers and adjust accordingly. But usually, um, usually just sliding the drills does the trick. But yeah, um, I'm just going to finish this color because it's not much of it. But See, and you might hear that my palm of my hand is touching the glue a little bit. Um, I'm not worried, <laughs> really. Um, I've had my cats walk across the exposed glue before, and it does kind of wear down the stickiness a little bit, but um, I think just Diamond Art Club canvases are just so, like, such high quality that um, the diamonds usually stay there <laughs> when I place the, when I place them on top of the glue that may be a little less sticky due to dirt or um, fuzzies getting on it. But that's why I usually try to keep an eye on the cats, kick them out of the room when I'm diamond painting or um, just not keeping the exposed glue or, the, or not keeping the glue exposed when I walk away from the canvas. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. If you guys have any other questions, let me know, but I'm gonna turn this into a time lapse and just get going so i'll see you guys later and it's like an ocean and the waves they crash and fall and i feel the motion because we're big and then we're small and sometimes we lose it and i'm trying to tell them out and sometimes you prove it and you bring me back around And you give me that look And you give me those eyes You tell me you're hooked I tell you you're mine We find a makeup so everything is alright Give me that, give me that, give me that Pretty face, pretty face, pretty baby You're the only one that's driving me crazy
So Spencer and I started a puzzle to today. I can't talk. <laughs> um, I can't share the box, otherwise I'll flip over the pieces, but it's called the Mystic Maze. And this is the artwork. And yeah, we've been working on it. And it's really cool because it's one of those puzzles where like, I don't know what the twist is, but there's a twist. And when you're working on it, um, I guess when, you're, when you think you're finished, you're not actually finished. And so like inside, um, so this is what the pieces came in, but then inside here, um, you're not supposed to open this until you finish the whole puzzle. And it feels like there's more pieces in there. So it's pretty cool. We're having a lot of fun working on it. Um, I, I did like all of that of the edge and all of this part and he did like all that stuff over there. Um, he's new to puzzles so we'll, we'll cut him some slack. <laughs> but yeah we're having a lot of fun doing that. Those right there in that box are the um, are the edge pieces and then these are the rest of the pieces. So I think we're gonna um, like sort the pieces now by like colors because we're a little more familiar with the artwork. So yeah, just I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing other than diamond painting. <laughs> Make me color in the lines I can paint a picture by myself just fine You've got your coloring books And I've got my canvas look You can't make me color in the lines Okay, y'all, I did it. I put makeup on today. You probably might not even be able to tell, <laughs> but I wanted to do a little TLC to Christy Ann because I deserve it. <laughs> and I wanted to be nice to myself and feel cute. So I got my eyeshadow on. It's very, I like the subtle makeup. I don't like to go very hard, but I think my eyebrows are just like, well, bam, but you know, it's fine, whatever. Okay, hi. So, um, I left this out for too long and the condensation is getting all over my desk, so I'm just going to swirl it. Okay. It doesn't even taste that good. Okay, thanks Starbucks. Alright, so I wanted to kind of show you guys like some of the things that I'm interested in other than diamond painting. <laughs> um, I think some of you, someone noticed my Minecraft chicken. Let me go get him. So I made this guy. <laughs> I made him out of wooden cubes that I got on Amazon. Oh, you're dusty. <coughs> okay, sorry. Um, I, I made him. So I basically found some photos of a Minecraft chicken on Google and I like did the math and I glued them together and I painted him. And then we put my I put Mod Podge on it afterwards. I made him in like a series. It was like if I have I can't talk. Anyways, it was like a huge 
um, white, regular white Minecraft chicken, and then I made like two babies. So this is like a yellow baby, and then I made a blue baby because I made them last year during Easter time. <laughs> but yeah, I like, I mean, I used to play Minecraft a lot when it came out, which is when I was 12. I feel old because Minecraft is like at least 10 years old. So oh, I feel old, but I used to play Minecraft a lot. Um, not so much anymore. I'm also really into, um, you might see Link over there. I really like Leg the Legend of Zelda games. That, that one is my boyfriend's though. He got him at like, I think Ross. I think this is my all time favorite game, Super Mario Odyssey. It's so much fun. And it's one of the only games I've actually 100% completed and gotten everything and it was worth it. Oh my God, I love this game. It's a beautiful game and Spencer got me that from I think the thrift store. I don't know. I really like it. Okay, what else? Um, on my shelf here, it's a mess. I'm not gonna show you, but I have my um, Nintendo GameCube that I've had ever since I was like, I think seven years old, and I have a bunch of like the original games from it. Let me show you a couple. Also, if you're not into video games, I'm sorry. You can skip this. I apologize, but. Listen, I like this stuff. Um, Luigi's Mansion <laughs> and the original Animal Crossing. I love Animal Crossing. I have not played all of the Animal Crossing games. Yeah, I have not played all of them, but I'm really into it. Um, this is, <sighs> everything's dusty, I'm sorry. Um, I have my Nintendo 3DS. It's my baby. Um, and then what? I have a Nintendo Switch. Here's my case for it, Animal Crossing. I love it. Um, what else, what else? Cuphead. My boyfriend and I played Cuphead together and we're so excited for the um, DLC to come out. I'm so excited. <laughs> so a couple games that I really, really like. Okay, gonna be honest, Hollow Knight. Oh yeah, I have a physical copy of Hollow Knight. <laughs> this is usually a digital copy only game. Same with Celeste. <laughs> I really like collecting the 3D versions of games. This, so cool, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Um, I, as a kid, did not get to have a Wii, um, just cause, I don't know, my parents were like, no, no Wii's allowed, and I'm like, no! <laughs> so, this, Super Mario Galaxy, was the one game that I just, I wanted to play it. I never got to, but I finally did when this came out. I still don't have a Wii or a Wii U, so I can't play Galaxy 2. <sighs> Definitely not salty about that, but yeah. Okay, enough talk about video games. What else? I love jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> um, I watch, this puzzle's really cool because it's like a gradient puzzle and it's like, it's got a texture on it. It's really fun. This one is like deceptively hard <laughs> or yeah, it's really hard, but it's cool. I just like unique stuff like this and I love Lucky Charms. Don't tell me you're doing. Okay, I found it. I found the piece. A piece fell out. I hate everything. Okay, that's fine. This I got from my recent Disney trip. It is Mickey shaped. That part is not part of the puzzle. It's Mickey shaped, so I'm excited. It's very hard. A lot of the puzzles you get at like the Disney parks are deceptively hard. So, deceptively hard? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, oh my god. I won't show you guys this right now just because it's just, it's a lot of work to show you, but I have over there a Ravensburger puzzle and it is a 40,320 piece puzzle. Go big or go home, I guess, but it is Mickey Mouse through the ages and it is so cool. I will show you guys eventually. I need to do it at some point because I bought it and it was a lot of money. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, and you guys get to hear more about this in the upcoming Disney Princess panel videos, but I love Disney so much. Um, let me show you guys my journal. Got this. I got it from um, the Disney Wonderground Gallery on my recent trip and I just, I use this thing all the time, every day at work. So yeah, I love that stuff. Um, okay, yeah, so thank you for letting me 
show you guys this. But yeah, I love hearing about everyone's different types of hobbies and interests. Um, and yeah. Also, if you're interested at all in seeing, like, I post a lot more daily on my Instagram story. So if you want to follow me, just I'll put it here and also down below. So feel free to follow me because, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to continue to get to work on the painting. I still haven't filmed the intro for this video. I'll be up front. I should probably do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can you tell I'm feeling better? I'm feeling a lot better. Everyone has the tough weeks and I am getting through it. Is that it? Oh my god. Oh, that's just his acne. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. <laughs> Bye. Also, sorry. Thank you. Because my recent video, Katana, it got 284 views in one day. That's more than the last video. So thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah. Wow. And we're... 15 subscribers away from 200 subscribers what just the I think it it was only like it feels like yesterday that I was like oh we're, we're close to 100 or we just hit 100 thank you what the heck you guys are awesome you guys are so cool I'm loving this oh I just got another comment stop it you guys are so nice okay I got it I got a diamond paint Smells like cat poop. We just cleaned the litter box. I'm cleansing my area. Are we done pooping? Please. I would like it to just smell good in here for once. Okay, I'm done.
Howdy. <laughs> Happy Saturday. <laughs> um, I've just been working on this for a good portion of the day. Um, I, I did do a few adult things like cleaning up and cleaning out the fridge and all of that. Um, but yeah, we're getting close closer to the end. You can finally see the other edge of the diamond painting so it's not um, rolled up at the top anymore. <laughs> um, what else? I really need to set up my drafting table because then I feel like I could use like binder clips at the top and this might save the hassle, like save me the hassle. But, um, and I literally have the drafting table parts like behind me, like three feet away, but I just need to do it. I think I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm doing it tomorrow, okay? If you don't see it set up, you guys can call me out in the comments, it's fine. <laughs> um, but, uh, tonight, uh, Spencer and I are gonna watch, we're finally gonna watch Turning Red on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> We've been putting it off for too long. Um, and it's the new Pixar movie, in case you guys weren't sure. Um, and then, after that, we're gonna go out to dinner. And, yeah. Oh, also, the puzzle that we were working on, we finished it. And I was gonna show you guys what it looked like, but before I could, Spencer, you know, trying to help out, he put it away. <laughs> So, I don't, I don't even have a photo of the final thing, but it was really cool. It was really fun. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else. I think that's it. <laughs> so I'll just keep working on her. Um, though it might be time to start getting ready soon. So, yeah. Alright, see ya. <laughs> So here it is. Um, as you can see at the bottom here, we have a little, I guess kind of like stand, and I can put my diamond painting pen on there. Now unfortunately, it's pretty thin, so I can't place my tray down like this. So unless I get like a side table to put next to my chair, I'm going to have to hold my diamond painting tray while working on this. But I think this will be great for my posture <laughs> and it is an actual drafting table so I can adjust the angle so 
I'll be finishing up this diamond painting with this drafting table and playing around with the um, different angles of the tray to see which works best for me in filming. So yeah, but I'm excited and I can hang up and drape the diamond painting over the back and then I might even use um, binder clips to um, clip the top maybe. And maybe put maybe put like a pool noodle underneath here to prevent it from creasing too much. But yeah, I'm excited that I finally have this all set up and then I can get rid of this desk because it's um, my roommate's desk and he let me borrow it. So yeah, I'm excited that I have this all set up. <laughs> So I just realized that I'm probably going to have to wait on using this drafting table because I don't have a flat a flat surface to put my one the tray and two um, my storage containers for the drills. Like where am I? Oh, Henry's here by the way. Where am I going to put them? Uh, <laughs> like if this replaced the desk. I don't have a place to put them. So I've been looking on Amazon and I found um, like a two and a half foot tall like side table. And I feel like it's a, it, it'd work out because it's a, like one of those side tables that you can have um, at the end of your couch. And so it kind of like can lay in your lap a little bit. So I might have that set up next to me so that I can have maybe the tray resting there or at least the storage container. <laughs> and also a place to put the tray down if I need to put it down all of a sudden. So, and it's only like, I think like 40 bucks. So it's not too bad. Um, so I think I'm going to order that. And if I order it now, it'll be here tomorrow. Um, I, I, <laughs> I better set it up tomorrow, tomorrow, because if we're following the pattern of the drafting table, it's going to sit, um, unassembled for a few weeks. So yeah, I'll set that up, but at least I got this all done. It'll just have to live in the middle of the room for the time being, and then I'll keep using that desk until I can get the side table. Okay, just wanted to give you guys that update. <laughs> it's all finished. I love it. I can't wait to show you guys how it looks. Um, and I'm so excited because I um, got my um, YouTube live streaming set up already and I'm excited because you guys get to see two cameras, you get to see my face in the corner and you get to see um, the main thing which is diamond painting for the main camera. So I'm so excited. Uh, I'm, okay, Friday, 8 p.m. Don't be late. Don't be square. What was it? What's that saying? Late or square? Square. I gotta Google this. Hold up. Be there or be square. Got it. I'm very intelligent. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, so now I just gotta do the usual thing, which is sealing this bad boy. And I don't think I've explained this, but I always, always seal my diamond paintings. Why? Um, you know, no diamond painting, to me at least, is perfect. And I can be pretty rough when handling the diamond paintings, especially when taking it back and forth between hanging it up and stuff. And to me, it's just an extra safety precaution to seal it, just in case. And that doesn't hurt. And with this glue, especially if you put um, the perfect amount, you won't even be able to tell. <laughs> and yeah, so I just take this and an old toothbrush and I because it has um oh it just dripped thank you it has uh it's not focusing great it has a broad tip and it has a pen tip I use the broad tip and I kind of just um, squeeze and drag it across the diamond painting and I do it in sections and then I take an old toothbrush and I just um, can I go and do use doing circular motions to get the glue in the crevices of the diamond painting? Um, and I will show you guys one day uh, what happens if you put too much glue on. So it's not it's not a great time. <laughs> so it takes practice, but I definitely recommend practicing sealing your diamond paintings on like a small diamond painting. Maybe get a couple small ones, do them, and especially if you don't, um, or if you're not concerned about 
ruining them by, by messing up with the ceiling. Um, and yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go seal it, paint the borders, and we're gonna wrap this bad boy up because I wanna have this video up before, um, by Friday, I guess, but pro it's Wednesday night, so I'm trying to, maybe I'll have it up tonight or maybe Thursday morning, who knows. Blaze is crying in the background, so that's great. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys. Alright guys, that's all I have for you really. <laughs> um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me work on Make a Wish and Take a Bite. Um, it took me 14 days to complete that and I will be upfront in saying that I did run out of one color. I think I was maybe short on 15 drills. I didn't spill any so I've been noticing that it's been happening for a couple of Diamond Art Club kits but I'm not, I'm not letting them know. Um, and to me, it's not that big of an issue where I need to reach out to them, in my personal opinion. I've just been finding in the same kit the um, closest color that I run out of, and I just go ahead with it. Anyways, but yeah, um, I really enjoyed working on it. Um, that bad boy tomorrow is going to get hung up in my cubicle space, so really excited to see that all hung up. Um, and yeah, so... If you guys are interested, on Friday, April 8th at 8 p.m., I'm going to be doing my first live stream here on YouTube. And if you guys are interested, I'm going to be working on making sure it's upright first. But I'm going to be working on Train of Dreams. It's probably not focusing. Fantastic. But if you guys are interested in seeing me work on this and chatting with you guys, come on over. And if you guys can't make it, no worries. There'll be more. I'm sure I'll have a lot of fun doing it. So I'm excited. Um, okay, yeah. So I'll let you guys go. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>